Thank you so much to the Peabody Board of Jurors for this tremendous honor and for recognizing the humanity of everyday Palestinians who are struggling to live in safety and dignity. One Day in Hebron started out as an idea to tell the personal story of my father and the beloved hometown that he left as a teenager. It ended up being a heartbreaking snapshot of a Palestinian neighborhood that's been devastated by Israel's decades-long military occupation, illegal settlements, and system of modern-day apartheid. I'm first and foremost deeply grateful to all of the Palestinians I met in the old city of Hebron who shared the reality of the mundane violence they're subjected to every single day. And I particularly think of 13-year-old Salwa Sidr, who dreams of a normal childhood, yet who told me that she and her siblings are afraid of playing outside their front door because of how often Israeli settlers throw rocks and garbage down at them. This award is for you. Thank you also to my Baba, because without you, neither I nor this story would exist. Thank you as well to the former Israeli soldiers, Ori Givadi and Joel Carmel with the anti-occupation group Breaking the Silence for giving me a tour of Hebron that day, but more importantly, for your acts of conscience and advocacy. Big thank you to my incredible team at AJ+, Hamada Safin, Kate Elston, David Doherty, Berkat Asayas, Shadi Rahimi, and Tony Karen. And also thank you to my intrepid Palestinian cinematographer, Ayman Abu Ramuz. Finally, we filmed this video just weeks after the death of my friend and Al Jazeera colleague, Shirin Abu Akhle, a trailblazing Palestinian reporter who was killed by an Israeli soldier while she was reporting in a clearly marked press fest. Shirin was an inspiration to me and so many other journalists, and it's a huge loss and crime that she was taken from us. We would like to dedicate this award to her memory, and we continue to call for justice and accountability.